Anna Axe here, and here I am again with another poem. Still the same day. Yeah, this mini series is gonna go on for a couple of weeks. I don't have to think about videos for quite a while. You don't know how happy I am. I will have to interrupt the series for the Halloween video, but that's okay. I'll figure that out then. Did you hear my finger crack? That was kind of gross, wasn't it? Anyway, so this is called For the Hundredth Time, and this does have a lot of emotion in it because I think I wrote this just a couple of weeks after we broke up, and it's very bad. Not, like, very bad. I, I didn't even want to write this in my diary. I think I'm actually going to keep this one on my phone because I really... I like the amount of motion I put into this. <clears throat> so, again, this is called For the Hundredth Time. I hate that you... You, of all people, get to walk around with your head held high, smile perfectly in place, as if nothing at all had happened. But then, I think, I of course do the same thing, and I wonder then if your happiness is in fact just as fake as mine. Though a part of me hopes it is not, a part of me still hopes that you really are okay because if one of us should have gotten out of this electric roller coaster I once identified as love, I'm scared. And I'm rationally glad for the belief, no matter how false it may be, that you could have been unharmed from this. That you could have managed to escape all this, this all-consuming pain I feel every day. That I am the only one haunted by our memories. I hate walking down the streets of our town because these memories do haunt me. They play like projections everywhere I go, and I hate them just as much as I cherish them. Please, tell me why my heart still clenches when I see your face. Please, why do these butterflies still appear when I hear your voice? Why am I still painfully aware of your presence as soon as you've entered a building that I am occupying, even without seeing the evidence of you actually in the room? Why hasn't my brain and heart let the rest of me know to stop reacting to the very mention of your name? Because that second of happiness is no longer worth the days of pain that follow. Even when having had you for only those few months is still worth this pain even now. It's been a while and it's 2 a.m. and the vision of your eyes has just flashed through my mind. And the memories have flooded my conscious mind once more. My tears are cleansing my body for the hundredth time in your name. And I wonder, will this ever go away? Because just when I believe it has, I see you again. And I'm reminded once more that I cannot approach you, cannot feel your arms embrace my trembling form, cannot ask you to protect me from the storms inside my own mind, and I'll see you look right through me. Not as though I were a stranger, but as if I was not there to even begin with, and I... I copy your behavior, feeling as I do so, my heart breaking all over again, for the hundredth time. See, like, I'm not even feeling that, <laughs> I can feel those emotions. Ah, oh, all oh, the amount of pain I went through. Oh, you know, I'm so glad I walked through that pain, but it was a lot of pain. There was a lot of pain there, but there was a lot going on too. It wasn't just him. 